Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Lead Farms. My name is Cale Carlson. I farm in Nebraska. I also have a passion for large equipment and machinery. Thanks to Dave from Husker Heavy Equipment for bringing out this Cat 980K wheel loader. And I thought I would just go through it with you guys and actually drive it. I've got uh, two borrow pits. I've got a pond that's dry that I want to dig out the silt. We're going to do that first. Might get stuck. Hopefully we don't get stuck. We'll see what this baby is able to go through. And then I have another borrow pit that I'm digging out dirt to haul to some of my fields. I'm going to stockpile it with this machine. Let me give you some statistics behind this 980 cat. It is. The length of this right now is 31 feet long it is 12 and a half feet tall it is 12 feet wide excuse me it has a eight yard bucket it has a 130 gallon fuel tank it is run off a 24 volt system it has a caterpillar c15 six cylinder diesel engine that's able to put out about 370 horsepower it's a beast. It's a fun thing to drive. Oh, this one's interesting. This one actually has a joystick instead of a steering wheel, which is a little bit, a little bit different from normal wheel loaders. But it's big, it's powerful, and Kale loves to drive it. You guys would love to drive this machine. Why don't you come along with me and you can watch me, I don't know, either get it stuck or get a lot of dirt and silt scooped out of the pond. Let's see what let's see what Kale can get himself into. Okay, it's kind of warm in here, so let's get this baby fired up so we can get some air flowing. First off, this handle goes down, and to pick it up, there's a little lever right there to engage and disengage this arm work vest control. Here's your joystick that controls your articulation. You have your forward and reverse gears and then manual. So this is a four speed automatic and manual transmission. Four gears in forward, four gears in reverse. If that makes any sense at all, you can actually go through these uh, transmission modes and either make it manual so I can click up and click down. That's what I prefer. Or it'll automatically do it for you. Turn it on, 24 volt, volt system. Hopefully the batteries aren't dead. Oh yeah. Fire right right up. That's a good thing. Okay, what we do here, go into your program, and I programmed lead. Click OK. So that'll adjust it to all of my settings, the settings that I prefer to operate this wheel loader. And what you can do here is go through the menu. I like to keep it on pretty much uh, this one. Watch my coolant temp. And there. Anyway, um, I need to get a holder for this phone. Air conditioning is on. I might have to ditch this Carhartt. Seatbelt engaged. I always feel like I'm a better operator with the seatbelt on. Okay, here's my, okay, pedals. Accelerator, brake one, brake two, brake one, brake, these are brakes. So I've kind of gone back and forth of how I like to run it. This stick raises the bucket, and then this one is your roll back and tilt. Um, when you, another kind of neat statistic, so fully up and fully dumped like that is 10 feet. So you can reach a 10 foot bucket. Oh, and by the way, you can do this. So after you dump with this uh, stick right here, here's your horn. If you just pull it all the way back, it'll automatically go to level. And that's extremely helpful in speeding up your cycle times. Parking brake is off. I will, we are in um, second gear neutral right now. 
I click that button down on this stick and we are rolling. There, you see I move that joystick left and right and that's how you drive it. Now, I am gonna road this machine. Oh, by the way, operating weight of this machine is 70,000 pounds. I'm gonna road it to the first mud hole. That was a pretty long introduction. We'll go through a few other things and as I'm working, I'll give you little updates. Oh, side note, update on my farm. I am done harvesting. It is late October. It'll be November next week. Done harvesting. So I either get to enjoy family or machinery. I'm gonna do a little bit of both next week. Also, I'll probably be applying nitrogen next week if we get a little more moisture. Okay, enough of that. Here we go. Top speed in fourth gear forward is 22, 23 mile an hour. The top reverse speed is 25 and a half miles an hour. So I'm not sure what application you need to go in reverse faster than forward, but with this joystick, it's a little sketchy going that fast for me. Now I don't have a lot of operator hour time on this machine. So once again, hey, if you're a pro lever, pro level operator of a cat 980 and I get something wrong feel free to drop a comment below and correct me or give us some more insight and details on this magnificent machine thanks in advance we'll uh, slow down to third gear there all right quick little rundown of what I'm doing out here. This is a little low spot in the field before the water runs across the road. If in this field I get any heavy rain or anything else, this silt over the years will fill in here, it'll be captured here, and the water will run on down the line. So over the last couple of years, it's filled in with good topsoil silt. So I want to dig it out and stockpile it over here. I started doing that yesterday. I haven't figured out if I'm going to trailer it out of here or what I'm going to do for that, but it doesn't matter. This pond was dry. There was no water in here. So, But as I'm digging it out, I go down a couple feet, we get into the ooey gooey. So I was slipping and sliding a little bit, never did get stuck, but we'll continue to dig down further down and see what it looks like. It's a lot of fun to, well, play in the mud, play in the dirt, play in the soil. Especially with uh, super big equipment. I think if I do get this monster stuck, I do have maybe some other resources to um, recover it.
if you see, can see I'm sinking in just a little bit. It dried out from yesterday pretty good. There are definitely some soft spots. Nice thing about stockpiling it over here, it will definitely dry out. much my plan of attack here is just load after load after load I'm not getting full buckets I don't think it's very hard it gets sticky and tacky you can see some of the squishiness of this this clay would make incredible building material incredible foundation because it's uh, so moist actually maybe a little bit too wet but give it 12 hours to dry out pack it down it would be incredible this thing is a monster this is sticky gooey clay you can see some of the ruts and the tracks that i'm burning through here um, so each load i'll maybe scoop this out so that we do not get high centered but you guys coming along here thanks for joining along you can see some of this nice black rich topsoil dirt and then we get into some clay but i figured out a way to grow just about any crop on any of this type soil so we'll put in a couple other fields put it back up in this field it'll work really really well fantastic really truly enjoy well this evening but also that machine stay tuned um it's gonna be a short quick video we'll see i'll edit it see how it turns out let me know if you guys like this style of uh kale's channel lead farms coming along here um, if not, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do what I want anyway. If you like it, follow along. If not, we'll see you in the next one.